It is completely shocking that uh, two years on from the end of the Afghan conflict, from the scurrilous evacuation of Kabul, from Dominic Raab sunning himself on the beach in Crete, that holiday which will go down in infamy. Two years on, only, I believe, 54 Afghans have actually been resettled under the government's Afghan citizens resettlement scheme, not the promised 5,000. There are, I think, 8,000 Afghans who have arrived in the last year, uh, some of whom have crossed the channel in small boats out of desperation. There are about 2,000 waiting in Kabul, anxious, trapped, uh, and apparently the Home Office has decided it's not going to do anything about that, about them, until it clears its backlog. Well, this is absurd. There are ways in which it can clear its backlog, of course. Instead of all these uh, rhetoric-grabbing, headline-hogging initiatives about uh, putting refugees in barges stuffed with Legionella, uh, and uh, whinging about hotel bills up to six million a day, when in fact those hotel, hotel bills probably cannot be significantly uh, reduced because the government, the Home Office, has signed contracts with the hotel owners for a number of years. But other than that, other than that, if, if there are ways that we could reduce the size of that bill. There are ways that we could sort out the refugees. For example, we could do the same thing that we did with Ukraine. We could give people three or four hundred pounds a month to look after a refugee. Uh, we could, I don't think it would last for long, but it would certainly move things along. We could then use the rest of the money that was saved from paying for hotels. We could put, we could use those hotels to uh, house homeless people. There we are. We've solved two problems at once. And the money that we save for those uh, £6 million pounds per day, we could probably uh, hire 10,000-odd extra staff for the Home Office who could then process the backlog, and we would then know what we were genuinely dealing with. Instead, I don't think the Home Office is really bothered, really interested in clearing this backlog, is really interested in sorting out the problem, because at the moment the migrants provide a very good diversion and a very, a very good fodder for GB News and Talk TV. That's what they're there for. They're there effectively as an alternative to adverts. It's not attractive, is it?